Okay, so um, this video is for kids who missed the lesson on how to play the 12 bar blues. Um, if you look at the bridge on your instrument, and this is a violin, viola is going to be a little different, you'll see that there are four colors. Okay, so there's red, there's orange, there's green, there's blue. On guitar, the colors are across here. Um, if you look at the charts that I put in um, Google Classroom, showing the bridge with the pictures, it tells you what these colors mean. Um, red is E, orange is A, green is blue, is green is D, blue is G. And those of you who have purple, on a viola and a cello, that is C, and on a guitar, that is the letter B, okay? When you're playing the instrument, you can see those colors when you're looking at it. Guitar, you'll have to look down. They line up with the strings that go right over the bridge, see? They go right over it. So you're gonna be looking at the music that's in that um, slideshow that I put up in Google Classroom. And I don't have one here, but, uh, Wherever it says play D, you pluck your finger, put your finger on top of the string and let go. Play guitar, you're gonna hold your pick. And you're gonna pick the string. Pick only one string at a time if you're playing guitar. Don't, don't strum everything, okay? I'm gonna do a guitar version so you can see it. Okay, so you're gonna start. It goes D, 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 D. And then the song goes G, 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 G. The song goes D, 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 and D, 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 D again, and then eight times G, and then D eight times, and then you're going to go to A, that's orange, then you're going to go to G, that's blue. So the whole song, D, G, D, G, and D, and A, and G, and D. assessment violin and violas you got to make sure that your instrument is securely on your shoulder it's not sitting down here or like this all right it's on the left side it's gonna look like right on this video I'm sorry um, the end button should be touching like the neck and then the corner of your jaw should just be gently touching the side of the um, chin rest you don't need to hold it really tight just enough that you know you can wiggle it but it's not going to like go sliding off. And then your left hand's here. When you pluck, your right thumb goes in the corner of the, the fingerboard. And your finger goes over like this. Hope this helps. Good luck on your assessments.